Hey yearly pops, <laughs> I'm so excited for this video, aren't you? <laughs> so we all know I've been doing this series where I'm trying to find the best method to get rid of hair on my vag. Plain and simple. Um, <clears throat> except it's not that plain and simple actually. We've tried using stripper life hacks to shave my bikini line. We've tried waxing, which went actually terribly wrong. Like, you know when they say that in the title, but like nothing goes wrong? No, like it actually went terribly wrong. And a lot of you guys have been commenting use Nair. Which, if you don't know, it's like a hair removal cream. You just put it on and then it like literally chemically dissolves your hair follicles. Uh, yeah, sounds pretty dangerous, especially for your punani, but um... <laughs> They did make a formula, especially for the bikini line, so that's what I'm gonna be trying out today. Uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty terrified. I saw a lot of story times saying not to do it because it burned off their vagina, and I would like to keep mine. I mean, I guess let's just go to the store and hope they have it. Okay, great, <laughs> awesome, subscribe, <laughs> No luck at Walgreens. I'm specifically looking for the bikini formula because I don't want to burn off my vagina, like we said. So, I drove all the way to Ulta because they literally have the largest section of hair removal cream I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, we got the goods. This is actually a stick form, which is interesting, but it does say for use on bikini area, arms, and underarms. Now, this was only $9.73. You saw the testing stripper life hacks to shave my bikini line. That cost $40. And it says you only have to put it on for three to ten minutes. So if this works, this would be like the sickest deal ever. So I'm hoping that finally after three attempts, we find the perfect solution to removing hair down there. That would just be great. You know, we got two months till summer. We we have limited time to figure this out. We might have found the answer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope there's success and not um, scabs on my precious angel. Holy brusky. I cannot wait to do this. I'm so excited. Okay, girly pops, who's ready to try Nair down there? <laughs> okay, so this is what I got. It's the Nair Nourish Glides Away. Max effective, even on coarse hair, which you know, with 100% natural Moroccan argan oil and orange blossom. <laughs> cool. Directions. Read the warning section before use. I love when the directions tell me to read the warning before I even try it. That's great. Remove cap and discard seal. The seal is gone and that's what's there. That is terrifying. Lots of scary warnings when it comes to this stuff because it's just basically burning off your hair. So I'm going to test a little section on my arm just because like I don't really feel like torturing myself like I did in the other videos. Oh, and boom, shakalaka. There she is. That's a lot. So we're just going to, ew, ew. That feels disgusting. We're just gonna do about that much, and we're gonna see if it does anything. I'll be back, I guess. It doesn't burn, so it's a good sign. Alrighty, one song later, uh, it looks about ready to remove. Can you see how weird that looks? Wipe away the cream. Wow! Look at that! Whoa, there's a little patch of hair gone. Awesome! So let's hope that this works on my vagina! Time to just... Let's just do this thing. This looks disgusting. I'm gonna put my hair up real quick so we can really see what's going on down there. Yes, I know I look like an egg with my hair up. You don't have to tell me. This is why you never see me with my hair up. I'm really scared, honestly. So I'm going to put it like on the outer edges. Like if I were to put on a bikini, this would only be the parts that you could maybe possibly see. Ew, that feels disgusting. This is a thick layer, so I'm gonna obey the laws. Okay, uh, I said a small section and then I just went all in. So, YOLO! <coughs> oh my gosh, it smells absolutely disgusting because it's literally chemicals. That's just beautiful. Um, not much to say here. Just put a nair on my badge. So, how's your day going, guys? That's nice to hear. Probably a little better than this is going. It looks like vanilla icing, you know? Like, I could just eat this up. Alright, it is 2.42, so I'll be back in probably like 8-ish minutes. Probably gonna need the full 10 minutes because the hair is coarse down there, let me tell ya. <laughs> Uh, there are people unsubscribing at this very moment. I'm so sorry. Wow, I'm looking in the mirror and that looks absolutely disgusting. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. 
Someone told me that if you click the bell once, it'll notify you, but if you click it twice, it'll like extra notify you. I don't know what that means. YouTube just doesn't think the subscribe button matters anymore, and it really only matters if you click the bell to see if you'll actually see my videos. So if you want to be a loyal bam bam part of the family, then you can click that, I guess. I really hate when people tell me to subscribe when like the video hasn't even started yet, so. There is no burning happening, so that's a good sign, I think. All right, it's really on there, so I will be back. <laughs> Wish me luck. <coughs> I have to pee, but that's probably a bad idea, right? <laughs> Are. Give this a thumbs up if you like Aspen Rover too. <laughs> it's been six minutes so far and when it was on my arm hair, you could see the hair kind of like shrivel up. I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of shriveled up and that's not happening. The hair on my arm is super duper thin so it only took three minutes on my arm, but for down there, I think we're gonna need the full 10 minutes, but we're not allowed to exceed 10 minutes. They were very strict about that. Let's hope this does something in the next four minutes or else we got another fail videos on our hand and I really, I mean really want this one to work. Like this would be the cheapest, cheapest, <laughs> the cheapest, easiest method. I don't want this to be a fail video. I want this to be a success video. Plus I really have to pee, so <laughs> let's hurry this up. It is 2.51 on the clock. We have got one minute and I I feel some tingling. It's a little itchy, but it doesn't burn, which is the biggest part. Um, I have bled in all of these past videos, so I'm really hoping to not bleed this time. It's not looking promising down there. We've got one minute and I don't see progress. Needless to say, feeling pretty nervous. We just gotta believe. Dear Lord, I, I pray that this Nair hair removal will work and that I will be able to pee soon after and that we will finally find a method that is easy for all the people of the world to use, amen. And it's 2.52, all right, gotta get it off. Can't exceed 10 minutes. Got my wet washcloth and we're just gonna rub this off. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, girl. Ooh, wait a second, that is freaking disgusting, but wait a second. Okay, um, wow, it looks interesting down there. This washcloth looks absolutely disgusting and I'm kind of contemplating showing you. Uh, yeah, okay. It looks as if I shaved like two days ago and now it's like growing back a little bit. So I think if I cut the hair a little shorter, maybe it'll work. Since I only did like some sections, I'm gonna trim the hair more and then see if that works, if that makes sense. But I mean, not terrible. I guess this would be kind of like shaving, but without the razor bump. So let's hope that this works if I trim it down a little bit. I'm gonna come back. I am back. All right, I got my wet washcloth and I trimmed my hair more, um, which is the reason the wax my vagina video did not work is because I did not trim a single thing down there before. Someone please help me. Okay, let's hope this works. Oh, wiping it off. Look at that, it looks the same. I'm getting really frustrated. Oh, yes I am, woo! It looks better this time, but you can still see the hair follicles. It's not as if like you waxed it and like it's baby smooth. It looks like I shaved a couple days ago and that's like what's coming back after shaving. I think it's a better alternative than shaving because it won't give you razor bumps. Um, it is a little annoying because you just have cream down there and you're just like sitting there waiting. So that's kind of annoying, but it's easy. I'm gonna stop talking and rinse this off for a second. <sighs> Okay, my final thoughts and review. It worked on my arm. That's great. Maybe if your hair is thinner, it would work because since my arm hair was so thin, it worked pretty nicely. Um, another thing I don't like about it is that it's patchy. And great, we got another phone call just like in the waxing video. Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> yup, guess what I'm filming. Oh! Yet again, but I'm done so you're good. Um, it's pretty bad again. I'm really freaking mad. No, it didn't bleed this time Yeah, I just it just uh, it just looks like I shaved it badly, you know <laughs> Okay, coolio ski broski. <laughs> bye I recommend trying it. It can be better than shaving. At least from this, I don't get razor bumps and I didn't bleed and it wasn't painful. So honestly, not mad at it, but not like the best method. So since we still have not found a method for sh getting all that hair out, please comment down below what you use. Laser hair removal companies have been contacting me, asking me if I wanna try it. And honestly, we might have to resort to the most painful permanent solution by the end of the series because nothing is working so far. Maybe next I'll try like an electric razor. 
I don't know guys, there's so many different methods, so just keep commenting them down below and tell me what you do because what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Please uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up for original content. <laughs> and all my other social medias are down below and stuff, so yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> Almost forgot. Fall in love with me, you see, I'm trying, I know you know that I like